Hi everyone, Eric Lewis here, and today we're gonna to talk to you a little bit about the differences in ammunition. If you've been to an ammo store or a gun store or any big box store for that matter, anytime recently, you know there is a plethora of different types, speeds, sizes, calibers. It can be overwhelming, especially if you're just now getting into shooting. So maybe some of these tips will help expedite your ammo purchasing and selection and give you a little bit more information. On the outside of the box, these manufacturers put a ton of information that can help you decide which is the best for you. So over here, we've got several different types of rifle as well as pistol ammunition. And I wanna show you a few of the things that are on the box that'll make your life a lot easier. So here we've got some 380 auto pistol ammo. On the box, the first thing you're gonna notice is going to be the actual caliber of the cartridge. You definitely want to pay attention to that because you never want to feed the wrong ammo into the wrong firearm. Bad deal all around. That's kind of common sense, but it's worth noting. Um, another thing that's right on the front is going to be, besides the quantity in it, is going to be uh, the weight of the bullet. That's what the grain is. So this is an 85 grain bullet. Why that's important? It's going to depend on what application uh, you're using this for. These are personal defense rounds, so you may want a little bit heavier bullet because you're not going to be shooting as far. Um, and if you didn't know, the heavier the bullet, the lower your velocity is going to be, but you're going to have more energy. So for personal defense, it's not a bad idea. Some of the things that a lot of people don't look at when purchasing ammo is going to be right on the back of the box here. Uh, it's going to show a few things like this has the bullet's velocity uh, and the energy that is going to be delivered at the target whenever it's fired. Uh, those are pretty important. Not so much for personal defense rounds, the energy is, however, the velocity, if you're a beginning shooter, may not be as big of a deal. If you're trying to shoot a little bit further, that's important. And that's when you're gonna to wanna to look at the back of all your rifle ammunition. And some manufacturers do print it on the side, uh, but it will be on it. So this is uh, 270 Winchester, obvious, same information on the front, weight, caliber, things like that. On the back, you're gonna see the same information and this is a lot more important, especially if you're target shooting or if you're going on a hunt where it's potential that you could be shooting at that three, 400 yard range. Uh, it's gonna show you all of the same information I missed, mentioned on the pistol cartridge, but it's also got your drop chart, which is very important. Now it's not always exact because every rifle is a little bit different, but this is gonna give you a very, very good generalization of where your firearm is going to shoot when sighted in at different ranges. For instance, here, it shows sighted in at 100 yards. Um, at 100 yards, at, when you shoot out at 200, your bullet's gonna drop 2.9 inches. 10.8 uh, inches at 300, and so on and so forth. And then on the bottom row, it's sighting in at 200, shows you'll shoot 1.4 inches high at 100 yards, and then it shows your drop on out to 500. Um, That's very, very help, helpful whenever you're learning your scope. A lot of these new reticles have drop marks already built into them. So this will give you a good idea where it's going to be. Um, a lot of people too will tape this onto the stock of their rifle so that they've got it as a little quick reference guide. And the same information goes across all rounds, even your rimfire cartridges. Most of the time on the box, it'll say what they designed it for. Uh, even if you wanna just get one really quickly like these in particular are subsonic, so they're not as loud. Uh, and they're designed for target shooting. So they're great if you're taking out your kids or something like that and you don't want it to be so loud, a lot more comfortable to shoot, no recoil, things like that. So you can use all of this information to make your life shopping ammunition much easier. Now over here, it's gonna be a lot of the same info, but it is a little bit different with your shot shells. So we've got three different boxes. They all look really similar, but they are application specific. Starting here at the front, we've got your basic target shooting shotgun shells. Much like the rifle and pistol ammo, the info is right here on the top of the box. So here you're looking at 12 gauge. Same thing as before, you wanna make sure that you're firing the right shells and the right firearm. These are two and three quarter inch shells. A lot of shotguns are specific and can only handle up to a certain size. The vast majority of them are gonna shoot two and three quarter and three inch. But back on topic here, shows your muzzle velocity. Um, it's gonna also show the amount of shot in it. That's what the ounce is there. And then the size of the shot. So this is gonna help you if you're out shooting uh, clays, doing things like that, you want the little bit smaller shot, you get more BBs, better odds of hitting your target. It's also gonna matter on your velocity too as to how fast your targets are moving as well as the distance that you're shooting. 
On to this next one here, we've got the black cloud. This is specific for waterfowl hunting. Obviously it can be used for anything, uh, but this is steel, which is compliant with all the waterfowl regulations through the federal government uh, to make sure that it's safe for our wetlands, things like that. It's non-toxic. Uh, same thing, it's 12 gauge. This is a three inch shell, so it's a little bit longer. You wanna make sure that your firearm can handle that. Uh, it's got your velocity, the amount of shot, and this is three shots. So it's gonna be bigger pellets, which is good for hunting ducks and things like that with a lot more feathers and you need the penetration. And now at the back here, we've got our three and a half inch shell. You wanna definitely make sure that your shotgun can handle these because they are a lot longer and not many shotguns can handle them. It's gonna be application specific, things like a turkey hunting gun, goose hunting gun, things like that. Um, it's a lot more powder, a lot more shot, uh, typically larger shot, like this is triple B. Uh, it's got a, a one and three eighths ounce. So like you compare that to the three inch, it's got one and a quarter ounce. But it has all this information here so that you can make sure that you get the right shot shells or the right pistol, rifle, whatever you're firing for your application.